Look at how pretty that eel is. That's insane. He's like literally golden. Oh, 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 oh my God. Today we woke up with some crazy, crazy news and that being our octopus laid eggs. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Before we get to the crazy octopus news, we did add our golden moray eel to the 3000 gallon salt water pond. And I want to share that with you guys real quick. Try to get a good look at him. Come here, buddy. Look at that. Insane. He's going in the 3,000 gallon pond. Done quarantining, he's ready to go. Look at how pretty that eel is. That's insane. He's like literally golden. Come here, bud. He's really aggressive. And uh, while being in quarantine, I figured that out. He literally eats anything and he'll, he won't stop eating unless you uh, stop feeding him. But there he is. Very aggressive. There you go. Straight into the pond. Look. Where is he gonna go? Probably explore the pond a little and then right into a rock. There's lots of hiding spots in here. We do have a lot of eels, but there's only three big eels, and that being Hulk, our Tessalata eel, and now our Golden Moray. And you can see our Tessalata is actually in the pipe right now. I put that in there just so they had more caves and uh, a lot of the sharks, eels, absolutely love it. Plus, they have a whole bunch of rocks to hide out there. You can see Hulk's right over there in the current. Everything's doing awesome. Golden Moray's just going around the pond. I wanna see him go into a rock, but I think once we turn the lights off, he'll figure out where his like comfortable home is at. Today, we woke up with some crazy, crazy news, and that being our octopus laid eggs. And if you come right over here, this big rock in the center, it's kind of hollow, but that is where she decided to lay her babies. You can see them tucked up right there. Honestly, so sick. As you guys know, this is our octopus aquarium. We've had her for quite some time. We moved her from aquarium to aquarium just because octopus like their environment switched up. If not, they will get bored and end up trying to escape. That is why we do have duct tape. These animals are very, very intelligent. But pretty much, I'm gonna give you a quick little rundown of how I noticed the eggs and everything that has happened so far. I realized that she wasn't in the spot that she's been hanging out for like the past five days. So I went over there, I looked deep in the rock that she was hiding out in and figured maybe she could be like tucked up in there. But I did end up seeing these little like almost egg looking things. They literally looked like mini eggs hanging from the top of the rock. Obviously I've never seen anything like that before in the aquarium and there's nothing else in here other than our octopus. So the first thing I did was go on the internet, searched up octopus eggs and it was almost identical to what I saw in the tank. So I came to the conclusion they have to be some eggs. I didn't know if they were fertile or how she even got pregnant. So I ended up calling my buddy Brad who's had a lot of octopus back in the day. And while on the phone with Brad, I figured he would be like, oh, Nick, that's sick. But actually I got the complete opposite response. He was like, Nick, that is not good. And I was like, why? He was like, well, once an octopus lays their babies or their eggs, they end up dying. So they're an animal that pretty much reproduces one time. And then after that, they slowly just stop eating and then slowly get really depressed and then just slowly pass away. It's honestly pretty sad, but that is the life cycle of an octopus. So after talking to Brad Moore, I asked him, how do you think our octopus got pregnant? Just because obviously there's no mate in there for her to mate with. But then we came to the conclusion, it could have happened out in the wild. It takes an octopus a full 60 months to be pregnant, have the babies in them, and then to lay them. So that's pretty crazy because obviously we haven't had her that long. So what I'm thinking is she probably got pregnant out in the wild once we got her in our aquarium. She felt a lot comfortable, felt as if there was no predators, and then she can lay her babies. And that is exactly what she did. She has a pretty awesome home. I have a ton of caves for her to go in and explore around. I even put a little mini Rubik's cube in there. And like I was saying before, they are very intelligent. And this octopus, I put the Rubik's cube in there thinking maybe she can solve it. Well, once I put it in there, the next day I saw her actually trying to figure it out, but she didn't end up solving the whole Rubik's cube. She did move some of the pieces around. She had it actually in her hand, which was pretty cool, or a tentacle. So that just shows you that they are really, really smart. They, they're not just, and most people think they're just like a fish, but some of these things are smarter than most humans. As of right now, I'm not sure where she's at. Usually when we first wake up, she's on her eggs, just guarding them. And you'll see she has like her tentacles wrapped around the eggs and just pretty much is just fanning anything that gets close to it. I think what she does is she goes into that rock. It's a big hollow rock. And I know that's one of her spots. So I think what she does is during the daytime, 
goes in that rock, and then at night, since they are nocturnal, she comes back out and then goes and protects her babies. It is the next day. We still have not seen her octopus. The eggs are still in their little cave doing fine. I'm not sure if she'll just leave them to do their own thing, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated throughout their whole process. If you have any info, comment down below and let us know. But the other day we went out and we saw a bunch of little baby squid and we even saw them feeding and I want to share it with you guys. Oh, there they are right there. Look at that. Those right there are baby squid. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude, he just marked the minnow. Yeah, yeah, you guys have to like this video because we're coming back and we're catching one of these for either the pond or one of the aquariums. Oh, boys, look at the size of that barracuda right there. Look at all the bait. He's waiting for the bait to just go over him. I don't know where he just went, but it's literally a whole bunch of bait fish massive barracuda under that dock. But a while back we netted these guys and I definitely want to do it again and possibly try to keep one of them as a pet. So if you guys want to see that, like this video. Get it to like 15,000 likes. We'll do it. <laughs>